Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good evening. Wherever you are. This is Audra with Anatomy of Worship, anointing for the nations. Yes. I hope all is well with you guys. Yeah, I'm so excited. Today we start the 21 day challenge pursuing the presence of God. And I am so excited about what God is going to do what he's going to say, what, you know, the things he's going to reveal to us, just the fact that we are just pursuing it and we're like looking for ways to pursue him. He is excited. So I'm excited because he's excited and I just cannot wait until the end of this thing, even through this thing, what God is going to do. I'm so excited. I know we're going to have a testimony. You guys come with expectation every single day. Today is day one. We're going to do it for 21 days. Every single day, your expectation should increase and go higher and higher and higher. High, 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 high expectation to meet God, to just sit with God, to listen to whatever he says, just to be in his presence, to worship him, just to love on him, you know? So, yes, so today is finally here. I had some problems with, you know, some logistical stuff, technical stuff. Look, ain't nothing going to stop what God has ordained and he did ordain this thing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And today is not going to be, you know, really meaty. I'm just going to kind of go into what this is for, um, why we're doing this, um, give you a couple of, uh, scriptures and then CTAs, um, call to actions. So let us start. So the first thing, uh, when God gave me this, you know, he, God says he wants me to teach people how to worship him. And he says, you're going to teach it from a perspective of love. Um, teaching people how to know my love, um, look for my love, receive my love, and then to love me back. And I was like, okay, that's just that's good. I know God got some good ideas. <laughs> that's good. I was like, I could do that. And so when you love somebody, you don't just love them, right? What do you do? So to think about a relationship, when you're in a relationship with someone, a relationship with somebody else, you get to know them. You know, you want to know what they're about. You want to know what they like, what they don't like, what their personality is, you know, favorite color, favorite food, you know, what are your hobbies, you know, that whole thing. You want to get to know that person. You don't just love them. And as you get to know that person, you start wanting to spend more time with that person and you start making them priority, right? You know, they'll get a little higher and higher on your priority list the more you spend time with them and you find out, oh, you know, I really like this person. And before you know it, that like turns into love. You love that person, you know. Same thing with God and even more so with him, right? So we want to get to know him. We want to get to know what he's all about. We want to get to know his character. Um, then we want to start experiencing him but before we even do that we'll just take a step back we want to get to know him what does that mean spend time with him talk to him pray worship him sit with him sometimes just sit with no expectation just to be in his presence you know and those really are the times when he really just shows up in a big way. When you don't have an agenda, you know, like you don't have your scriptures, you don't have like your prayer written out or whatever. You basically are just going to come and sit and just hear, wait to hear what he has to say. So those are really the best times when he really, really moves. So that is what this is all about. God says, I want you to teach my people to worship me this whole relationship thing is worship when we have intimacy with God when we are relating to him when we are aligned with what he's aligned with you know when we just make him first all the time that's what worship is so that's what we're gonna do for 21 days we are gonna bombard the God of heaven we're gonna pray we're going to um, worship 
we're going to look at some scriptures. Sometimes we just gonna show up, turn our worship music on and just sit. <laughs> we just gonna sit and wait. Now, I know that um, we've had some um, social media platforms that have gone out and I thought about that. I was like, well, I don't know, you know, if YouTube was gonna go out, but I'm just letting you know up front what we plan to do. If for some reason you come here and there is no YouTube video, YouTube is down or whatever, you will already know these are the plans we want to pray and i'll give you a bunch of scriptures so that you'll know what to read or you could just read it on your own as you sit with god he'll show you like the holy spirit is really good with that he'll take you to where he wants you to go that's the beautiful thing about this so that in a nutshell is the reason why we're doing this and i really believe because of this the times that we're in and everything around us you know the world all the stuff that's going on we have better have our relationship right with god we need to make sure we got a relationship with god it is the right relationship with him because with everything going on he is the only one that you can truly rely on on he is truth so if you're looking for truth you better not turn on cnn you better not turn on i'm not even gonna go there you better turn to god we're just gonna leave it at that so with that, um, I'm going to start with my first scripture. And I thought this was so good. Um, I was talking to my sister-in-law at church today. And she had mentioned um, expectancy. Remember how I was saying, you know, come with a heart of expectation. And she was like, well, you know, what does that mean? What, what do you mean when you say that? And so I explained a little bit to her, but I gave her a scripture and I'm going to read this to you really quick. Oh, this is really good. This is uh, Psalms, Psalms 5, 3. And this is in the NIV. It says, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. Some other translations say, look up. Like after you give God your request, you look up. You're waiting. You're waiting for him to respond. You're expecting him to respond. That's why I'm saying we're on being expectation. We know that he's going to respond. He's just waiting on us to make the first move, right? So he is just more excited about this thing as we are, y'all. Let me just tell you that way because every time I talk about it, there's just this joy that just comes over me. So I know that God is really excited about this thing. So that's what we do in the morning. Now, I am not a morning person. But I will get up. If God said get up, two, three, four, whatever, o'clock in the morning, I will get up. Um, so in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. So that's a good thing to start in the morning. But all day. I would, you know, I'm not adding to the scripture, but I would add for my life all day, you know. As much as possible, I'm always thinking about what God is wanting. Look, what you thinking about, God? Who can I bless today? What can I do to be a blessing today? What can I do to make your heart happy today? That's basically, you know, what my heart is most days. Um, so that's what I want you to do. And it just, again, comes with cultivating that relationship with God. So I'm going to read this other scripture, um, First Chronicles 16. 10 and 11. I call myself Mark in them. So this is also the NIV and this is glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. So many reasons to rejoice when you're seeking God. Because you're going to get answers. You're going to get revelation. You know, you, you just whatever it is he wants to give you, he, you're going to get it. Verse 11, look to the Lord and his strength. We need God's strength in this hour. There is no other strength out there that's going to help us get through what is about to come up on or what we're going through, you know, in our own personal lives or just in the world in general. It says, seek his face always. So we need to always just bombard heaven. Look for God's face. Fall on our face in just humility and say, Lord, what do you want? What do you want to do? You know, seek his face. You need answers? God got them. Okay, that's my next scripture. So that's Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Um, 
it says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. There are rewards when you see God. You will get what you ask for. So, you know, just be careful what you ask for because you will get it when you're dealing with God. And um, I always like to say a bonus scripture because I kind of like added this one in there. But this is um, Hebrews 11, 6, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scriptures. It says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So we are expecting a reward, y'all. <laughs> you know, and I don't mean like, you know, we just reach up to God for what we can get, you know, for his hand. No, we want his heart. But when you earnestly seek him, there are rewards. For me, it's just, Lord, if you showed up and just in all your glory, that is rewarded enough for me. I mean, I would probably fall out of my chair, but you know, that little thing is not a little thing. That's a big thing, but it's like, I don't want nothing from God. Like in terms, well, I don't want to say it like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want a thing from God. I just want him. You know what I mean? I want his presence. I want his glory. I just want to feel his very tangible presence. That is what I'm after. That's what you should be after. And that's the reason why we're doing this. Um, so those are the scriptures. I'll just um, tell them again. They're Psalms uh, 5, 3, 1 Chronicles 16, 10 through 11, Matthew 7, 7 through 8, and Hebrews 11, 6. And there are many, many, many more, but, you know, we got 21 days. So, um, you know, I got plenty of time to give you more scriptures. Um, but we want to just bombard heaven. We want to just allow God to do what he said he's going to do. And don't worry about anything. You know, like I always talk about faith. The scripture talks about faith. When you start seeking him, God will give you what you didn't even know you were missing. You were like, oh, that's what I needed. So you don't have to worry about anything. If you have certain, you know, a certain request or, you know, something you want to ask God, bring it before him. But just know that as you start searching and as you start reading and praying and worshiping and just sitting and waiting, waiting with expectation, he will give you everything that you need. Every single thing that you even know that you need it. You were like, wow, God, thank you. That's how good our God is. And he loves us. He loves, loves, loves his people. But the greatest gift is for us to know him so that we can love him back so i'm excited about these next 21 days um god is just i'm just excited i don't know what god is gonna do i know that he's gonna show up and you know i don't know specifically what he's gonna do in uh in our lives individually but i know that he's gonna show up in a major way and you know my brother was preaching this morning and he was talking about relationships and just spending time with god and he was saying, you know, how he would start off, you know, just like 15 minutes a day and, you know, pray. Sometimes you don't have to pray. Whatever, whatever it is. If it's worship, you know, turn on your favorite worship song and just sit there. I guarantee you the Holy Spirit will move. God will show up. But he was just talking about how that, that just evolved over time. You know, he was spending three hours and it felt like 10 minutes. But it was three hours, you know, and I was just so excited because... Could you imagine just being in the presence of God for three hours <laughs> and getting revelation and downloads and, you know, like I get excited about stuff like that. So I'm going to try to get excited. I'll get excited about what God is doing. Don't look at what the world is doing. Keep your eyes focused on what God is doing because it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, it looks a certain way right now, but I guarantee that's not what God is doing. That's why... I want us to start pursuing him, running hard after him so we can be about what he's about. It's going to be really good. I'm so excited. What else did I want to tell you? Um, share. 
that was the only thing I wanted to say. I tried to um, do a live on my cell phone, but didn't know that you had to have a thousand subscribers. So share this. It is up to it's up to me, but it's up to you as well. Um, I want this channel to grow. You know, God brings an increase, but we can do our part. So if this is meeting you right where you're at, share. Somebody else needs to hear this as well. We want to bless somebody else. Share, subscribe, like, comment, um, all the whole, the whole nine, and um, join. Join us. If you didn't, you know, you're missing today. We got 21, 20, 20 more days after today, so you can just jump in at any time. Um, but I'm going to come on here every single day. Again, I can't do a lot because my, my computer is... You know, this is funny, too, because when God told me to do this, you know, I reminded him. I'm like, God, you know, my computer's all jacked up. And I didn't know. He knew, but I didn't know about this whole, you know, cell phone that you had to have a thousand subscribers in order to um, do a live. Well, I didn't know that. But surely God knew, right? He probably just wanted to see. Well, we're going to see what you're going to do. So I definitely need to get another computer because I need to start going live. I want to be able to engage. I want to hear your comments. If there are certain things that you want to pray for, if there's a song or something that you want to, you know, um, suggest, I want to be able to chat with you all. And I can't do that on a pre-record. So, again, we got 20 more days, so I'm believing for a miracle on that end. Um, but, yeah, I'm just so excited. Um we're going to be transformed, you guys. After this, you are not going to even be able to know who you are. You're going to be like, who's that? Who's Audra? Who's that girl? I knew her before, but who is she now? And if you're already doing this, like if you're already getting up and praying and do, you know, doing the whole nine, beautiful. Praise God. Now God is about to take you deeper, bring you closer so he can take you higher. That's, I mean... We're all at different levels, but you never arrive. We never get to the point where we know everything and we're just as close, as close, as close as can get. No, God is going to keep on giving us more, bringing us closer, drawing us, taking us higher, taking us deeper. And that's what we want. The closer we get to him, the more we love him. I think I'm going to sing that song tomorrow. Um, I think it's called The More I Seek You. Oh, the more we seek God, the more we love him. And that's where we talk about that whole relationship thing. We want to know him because we want to love him. We want to love him so much where worship just oozes out of us. Everywhere we go, we are addicted. As my brother was saying this morning, it becomes, a, it's like a drug. <laughs> you like, you got to have that Jesus. got to have my Jesus. got to have my Holy Spirit. You get addicted. You want him all the time. So, you know, be prepared for people to, you know, hate on you and say you too spiritual and you this and look. It's all about you and your relationship with God. Matter of fact, you should be praying for them and say, you know, help them. Lord, help them. Let them get where, where we're trying to go. But um, I am so excited about this thing. Let me just look over my notes and make sure I'm telling you everything. Um, I think that's it. It's really not a lot to this thing, you know. Pursue. Just like, you know, if you're married, just do what you did with your, with your spouse. You, you want to get to know them. You spend time. You prioritize your time with them. And then you just spend time. You listen. You speak. You have a conversation. You know? Um, God will start showing you things that you never knew. And then the things that are in you that are unlike him, he'll show you those things too. And then he'll start to implement the things that are of him in you. And you won't even want, you won't miss it. The things that he's taken out of you, you will not miss it. You won't miss it at all. So um, I think that is it, you guys. Um, I'm really going to try to keep these under a half an hour. But, you know, God be showing up. The Holy Spirit starts showing up. You know, he, there's no time. I can't put a time on it. But for this one, we're going to keep it under a half an hour. It's almost 20 minutes now. But I think that's all I wanted to share with you. Just be an expectation. Be an expectation. Know before you ask that you're going to get the answer. Before you knock, already know that the door is going to be open. No, we just read it, Matthew 7, 7, and 8. You just have to know it in your heart and believe it and come with the expectation that you're going to get what you are searching. We're seeking God. We're going to get all. Not all at once, thank God. Ooh, 
It'll blow us up if we try to, it would just be too much. But over time, just like a relationship, over time, it evolves. And you just fall more and more in love with him. And that is my um, heart as a worshiper, that we would just love God with all of our hearts. Just what the word says, our mind, our soul. We'd just be so much in love with him because he loves us, y'all. We would never be able to love him as much as he loves us. But we could start. We could just start and just continue that love relationship. It's a beautiful thing. I love worship. I love God. I love Jesus. I love the Holy Spirit. I love his people. I love the lost. I love meeting people and talking to people who, you know, are lost and introducing them to God. I love doing that is the most precious thing to me, just making that connection. You know, I'm kind of like the middle person. Here's God and here's you. You got these issues going on. Well, let me bring it together. Issues off. Bam. Done. So that is it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for what God is going to do. So 20 more days. I'm going to be here every single day. I don't know what time. Again, I'm not a morning person, but if God said get up and go do something, I'm up. And as soon as I do it, I'm going to upload and you'll be notified. So again, share, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Yes, I am. Everything that you're connected to, I'm praying for you. So um, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.